Hey everyone, welcome to Copy Sports Anime in Tokyo. And today we're celebrating Halloween with this video, the My Halloween video, and I decided on a Toku show that you might like. It's not really Halloween, but the cent American version is, and that is the Big Bad Beetleboards. Three typical average kids like to read their comic book. Madigan the game Beetleboard. Beetleboard! Oh, yeah, that's basically the plot. The plot is basically three kids get superpowers from their favorite comic book and somehow creative the villains from the comics show up and really we're meeting a ghost genie in an organ, which is kind of weird. A ghost genie that's basically in an organ. And the rest of the characters of the monsters are a freaking vampire. Uh, we will get into my thoughts on it because really Beetle Warps is a great series. Okay, we're only going to talk about a few of the episodes, like in importance order or characters in this video, so it's going to be different, but anyhow, let's do it. We begin with the show with two who, who are your book and skull type characters for season one, being a rich kid and a jock person, I think. Do that, they get scared, they drop some, the nerd, the, the rich nerd drops his cell phone, that's it. Next episode is them read at a comic book store with the main characters, which I'm going to call by their colors, and even if season two changes colors, so we will get into that maybe next year or now, but only time will tell. Who knows? Wink, wink. So we begin with our blue, looking at a girlfriend, looking daydreaming, being blue, Beetleborg being comic, which is kind of funny. Even if in this show, the Beetleborgs are fictional comics at the beginning of them. Switching to become real with them, which we never knew the secret identity of the blue and rest of the heroes because this is a kid's show and we have to go old fashioned comic book humor with that. Okay? Sorry. Not good. So this show's great that do it, the kids meet, red our girl, female red, which based that, then self blue, green, and green's our black character. They all go, meet the ghost, then they get wishes. The main wish to become Beetleborg, but they also get civilian powers. Yes, this is where civilian powers were introduced in Power Rangers later on. But really, the civilian powers for them are blue. The, the leader becomes the ability to levitate stuff. The girl can now do super strength. In green, it's just super speed, and they're mostly by an action for swift things. And the brain backward knuckle pose for red. For the girl, the green is snap fingers. Blue is just focusing, which is kind of funny, but anyhow, that's not the point. Really, the part that makes it Halloween-based is the monsters. The monsters include a vampire, a werewolf, who is Wolfie, and they all have an E with them, like Frankie for the Frankenstein-like character, the mummy, which is like the only one who doesn't, which Mums, I think, is her name. Don't get me wrong, they kind of really remember. So basically that, and there's a ghoul in season two, which I will explain in a moment. So, yeah, so that's basically the monster. Then they meet other characters like the 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 green and the green members, Russ, uh, family members. The owner comic book store has a plot point briefly for a little bit. Then after that, uh, the girl gets replaced by another actress. As a fun fact. That the villains change in the end. Right before that, we meet the comic book creator as like a filler episode. Then they make a new never seen in the comic weapon being a cannon, which becomes the main weapon of super mode for blue, which kind of makes good. And also, there's a shadow board for the set first season, which kind of off. They go on to be the villain in Forever Red, that and Green Beetleborg for season one. But the others, we will explain in a moment. Okay, well, let's begin with the season one finale. Season one finale is basically and the series that the first season ends with the Rangers meeting a new villain. The new villain shows up, gives them tips, defeat the final boss the show, they defeat it, they think the journey's over, then the knock knock, new villain shows up, the Rangers try I mean the boar beat a boar battle and they lose the powers. And later on gain the ability to shrink into bugs as a way to figure out the villain's insane new villain being the creator's brother who's just completely insane, which is kind of twisted, but anyhow, great. But really, the part that makes it all great is to get new powers. Blue is now gold. Blue, black, 
So green is now black, and now purple is red is purple. Okay, I'm gonna say their name, color names down with the chain just to know for this video. I'm sorry. Okay, so do that. The team battles. The battles the villain for a few episodes, and they learn there's like a proto script they read about some knights. Battle, the villains find the good coins, the bad guys, good guys have to now find the rest of the coin, astral coins to get the astral favor that summons a mech. But we will get into that in two seconds. Meet new members being a butterfly, a dragonfly, a red scarab, and a electric biker. One which it looks like a recycle from another Metal Hero series, which I will won't want to explain because it's really recycled for the body but the head's different I think for that character but anyhow that's a weird fun fact I know it is from watching Toku a lot so yeah so basically that and greatness of this episode so then I'll follow them summon the Borg and fun fact in Japan the the mech is just a pilot mech, but due to that kind of like Power Rangers, we made him sentient. Do that, battle, and sadly, they get super They get super battle item forms along the way. The villain gets an upgrade. Basically, the series ends with the introduction of a super zord. A second super zord mech, an evil one, they stop it, they befriend it at the end, and the series ends off on a cliffhanger that really ended with a happy ending, but really still cliffhanger for the villains. I wish they did a crossover with the old series, even if they're the same characters. So that would be weird, but that could work as a finale better than what they got, in my opinion. Hope you liked the video. Leave a comment down below if you like being Rabbit of Orcs and like it as a Power Ranger esque show. Hope you like it. And happy Halloween, everyone. Mostly Halloween for the monster elements, so yeah. Happy Halloween, everyone. Just doing a Halloween thing. Toku thing because Beetleborg is kind of a Halloween show because of the monster subplot. Yes. Happy Halloween. This is going to be saying bye-bye for now.